It is two years to the day of the OSAA basketball tournament going dark before the semifinals thanks to COVID-19. Yep, but tonight, Final Four Friday was back on the floor at the University of Portland. Very exciting. Fox 12's Nick Krupke was at the Child Center for the 6A Girls and Boys 6A Final Four. Well, being back up here on the scene on the bluff means so much to these players, their friends, their family members, as well as nothing was going on, of course, last year that condensed shortened season in the spring. Nobody was crowned champion. In fact, the last champion's crowned 2019. The 6A girls' first semifinal could have been the title tilt. The top seed of Beaverton was number one the four times in 2020, and here they are again. Up against fifth seed of Clackamas in their stellar freshman class, including Gatorade Player of the Year, Jazzy Davidson, who had a scholarship offer from Stanford before she started high school. But the Beavers damned them up on defense, not allowing the Cavs to score double digits in any quarter. Head coach Kathy Narrow's dad, Rick Adelman, certainly pleased with that. And junior Zoe Border bucked up for Bucky with 15 points. Senior Emily Rice added 13. 41 28 the final. The Beavs are onward to the 6 A final, looking to finally hang that elusive girls' hoops banner in their gym. Us juniors and seniors, we got to play with those seniors and like juniors that graduated. So I feel like we're especially doing it this for them because they really deserve that my freshman year. So just really like playing for them. The nightcaps out the Panthers from down south in Medford with the seventh seeded Barlow Bruins straight out of Gresham, both for 24 and 3. The Bruins hadn't been this far out of the cave since making the semis in 1993. 2002, their last trip to the Purple Palace. Junior leaders Annie Koenig and Kennedy Schuler were balling out for East County, combining for 32 points and 14 boards to build a 17 point advantage. But not so fast. South Bedford pulled even with just over a minute to play against the co champs of the Mount Hood Conference. But you've got to make your free throws. The Bruins did what it mattered the most is that Barlow Trail leads to the state final. 44 42 in the end. Bruin pride always endures. A lot of us have been playing together since second grade, so we have a great like background, and we all are really close, so it's a great team to play for. On the boys' side, it was all TRL. Fifth seed Westland, number one, Tualatin, finished 1-2 in that Three Rivers League, 24-2, and 21-3. Lions roared to the halftime lead behind junior Jackson Shellstad, one of the best in the state. Oregon Ducks commit, paced Westland with 19. Her lead was three after three. On the flip side, though, to Walton star junior Josiah Lake, hungry for the T-Wolves, as Lake splashed down three triples and logged 20 points and seven boards. To Walton, a mammoth fourth quarter, 22 to 12 closing spurt, taking the lead for good with three and a half minutes to go. Seniors Noah Ogoli and Malik Ross with nine points apiece. 56-49 the final, and just like football, Walton will play for its first ever Boy State title after a three-game season sweep over their rivals from the Lynn. But unlike the fall, the Wolves are on the hunt for it all. I'm super excited. Um, it's crazy out there. So many people, super loud. Um, very nice gym, and I'm super excited for tomorrow. We will have a first ever 6A state champ. 11th seeded Mountainside in Beaverton opened up in 2017, made its inaugural trek to state in the other semi. Number two summit, Adam Ben, a perfect 27 0 now after they had their buzzer beating win to get in over Roosevelt. The Mavericks won an OT quarterfinal thriller against PIL champion Cleveland. Desmond Baker, Dimitri Cohen each checked in with 16 on Friday. But the storm, a Bruin. Carson Cox led him with 15 and three of their 12 made threes. They were 12 of 24 as the Central Oregon kids largest lead with the 17. Pearson Carmichael slapped home the good stuff. 73-61, Summit sizzles to the championship Saturday across the mountains. Yeah, everybody looks down on us uh, down in Central Oregon, so I mean, for us to come out and uh, do what we're doing right now, make it to the state championship, I mean, it's never done, been done in Central Oregon 6A, so yeah. I mean, it's a great accomplishment for sure. Well, the boys' title game will be Saturday here at 315. The battle for a third-place trophy will be at 130. So good to be back in one more day to go. The state titles for the boys and the girls, same times all across the state. 6A here, 5A in Corvallis, 4A in Coos Bay. At the Child Center, Nick Krupke, Fox of Oregon.